Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Legacy of Goku Part 10. Where we last left off, we entered Namek, we planted a few trees, helped out some Namekians who were in distress. Now we are up here near a huge Namekian temple, and uh, we are not going to go in there just yet, because there are some things out here we could do. So uh, let's see what we got out here. Some more soldiers who want to punch me in the face, that's always cool. But I punched him in the face. He didn't like that very much. This, by the way, is a very brand new recording session from the other ones. And uh, I'm feeling much better than before. I actually tried recording this episode couple of days ago and I was so tired my commentary was horrible. Hopefully the commentary this time will be much better. Though through the few days I have decided on what I will let's play next. Very soon I will be let's playing the uh, Breath of Fire 3 for the PlayStation 1. It is one of my favorite games so I'm looking forward to that. However, in between this game and that game I will be doing Sonic 3 and Knuckles which is another game I used to play a lot when I was younger, and I'm really looking forward to doing that very soon. Once this game is over with, I will be moving on to that. So uh, stay tuned for that and its epicness. And we reached level 14. Let's see what we got here. I am going to go around these guys, because they're a pain, and get punched in the face by this guy. Always fun. Ow. I hate fighting on these narrow corners like this, it's such a pain. There we go, not too difficult. And up there on the right, if you saw it, there is a red gem which we need to grab, which we will get as soon as we take this guy out. There we go, just go right up here. You received a magical artifact, awesome. There is one more out here that we need to grab before we go and enter the temple. But while we are out here, there's no reason why we can't get some nice experience. These dinosaurs have a lot of health, but they are a lot slower than the other enemies, so they are much easier to kill. But they still give lots of experience, which is very nice. There we go. And there are some herbs under the uh, rocks, which we can definitely use because we got our asses beat down there. I want to get a Kamehameha off on these guys. Ah! Aha! Alright, that's enough of that. Come back here. Where are you going? We should be approaching the other gem very soon. If I recall, it is somewhere around the uh, right side here. Should be right up here, actually. Oh, there it is. Right under that guy's butt. So let's take him out so we can grab our gem. Or completely miss him. That's always good. Ooh, a sensu bean. Too bad we don't need it. I will remember that it's there in case I do. By the way guys, I do not recall any Namekian temple in the anime. Correct me if I'm wrong, though they did add a lot of stuff in this game that makes no sense in the actual anime. Okay, let's make our way down, huh? Oh, it's King Kai again. 
another thing about this game, they don't explain anything until a lot later than it actually happened. Apparently, Tien, Yamcha, Krillin, or no, not Krillin, and Piccolo have died in between when we got to Namek and we didn't know about it because I guess we weren't there. Well, uh, let's go find Krillin and Gohan then, Goku. Ooh, I thought I had my solar flare up at that point. No problem. Let's see if we can get ourselves down there. Nope. Ow. I hate these guys with a burning passion. They're so fast. Crap. Ah! There we go. Now let's make our way back to the entrance. I am not fighting you. There we go, a nice little shortcut. For good measure, let's take these two guys out before we enter the temple. Ha! Almost got me there, didn't ya? Got me there that time. And we reached level 15. Awesome. Perfect. And on that note, let's enter the temple. This temple is a huge maze. I got very lost during my practice run with this. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Let's see what this says. Give freely to your brothers, and honor will be yours. Amen, bro. Amen. Actually, I will take this guy out. Or he will take me out. Ow. Huh. Not too bad. If I recall, these blue guys are the stronger ones of the uh, bunch. Or not. Huh. No problem. Actually, this hand is pointing to a secret passage. A secret passage, which is right here. And down here is the final gem, which we need to grab, the green gem. And apparently Goku knows that this is the last gem, even though we don't know what these gems are. But yes, let's go find a spot to place these gems. And if I recall, it is back down this way. Here we are in front of a big piccolo statue holding giant balls. A, a temple is not without big giant balls. You can't have a temple without that. It's just impossible. Once you accept your fate, you will know no bounds. It's very true. It's a very philosophical temple here. Ah, back to the beginning. I hate this temple so much. Let's try this way this time. Hmm, where does this go? Ah, more philosophical statements. Remember that a scurned youth cannot be a future enemy. Or could be a future enemy. This is very true. What does this one say? Youth will be treated with respect, for they will replenish the planet. 
That is also very true. The youth is very important to the planet's growth. As they are our future, aren't they? However, this guy will not have any youth because he is dead. Hmm. We are almost out of time, guys, so uh, I will stop here, and in the next episode, we will make our way outside of the temple and uh, find out what comes next. See you later.